Good job, Midnight. Come on now. Good boy. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Okay, so if you look here, really good sign. You can see the muskrats have dug these little trails, little pathways, because they want to stay in the water. And as the water dries farther and farther, they dig these little pathways so they can try and avoid exposing themselves when they come out to feed. And you see all over, there's little bits of green grass they've been feeding on, all over, piled around. So good chance there's something here. And if there isn't something here, it's close by. There's a fair bit of dry ground between us and the last muskrats we caught, so I believe this is a new one. So we're gonna go ahead and put a mink down and see what we catch. We got Mr. Uh, Houdini here. Let's see if we got some muskrats home. Okay, so maybe nothing. We'll let him check out. There's another hole right here. This, this den system is a little bit extensive, so it's possible he just hasn't found them yet. Like I said, this could easily be the last muskrat. Hey, go. Lita! Lita is not a penis! Yeah, look at all those feet. Who's that? Those are raccoons. <gasps> find a raccoon? Yeah. How do you know that's a raccoon, Prent? How can you tell? Um. See, look, look, it looks like a little hand. See, it's a little hand. What's that? Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's give us a muskrat, huh? Okay, so there's an entrance here and an exit right here. Okay. And this little hole seems really simple, but the muskrats run around and around the meat. So I don't know what makes it difficult, but it's tricky. So they can come out here or here. So just be ready to film either way. Maybe stand on that little dry spot. Here comes. The he's muskrat? Right you see him? He's like he's looking at us in the weeds. He just went back. Okay, let me not go get him now. He's back in the hole, Houdini. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he was right on the rim and I just flipped him. Houdini! But it might not, so just be ready to bolt. Here it comes. Oh, he went back in the other hole. Yeah. Houdini! <laughs> Houdini! <laughs> you can stick the net there. There's somewhere up here. Up here. There it is. There he is. Yeah, see? I, I was in the wrong direction, but you're right. It was really quick. There you go. Oh, wow. Is that a second one, or did yeah. it get past us somehow? Probably a second one. Oh, oh. There it is. Right there. There it is. Oh, he's got it now. Yeah, he's got it. Totally caught it. 
<laughs> he was running straight up that hole. And I heard it, so I know he caught it. Saber, or um, um, Houdini. Get the muskrat. I'm trying to call the dogs. Let's make sure we don't lose this one. Good job. Good job, Houdini. Good job, Houdini. Was two. Thinking, there's no way that guy snuck behind us. It was odd that that other one had been in there for so long. Good old Houdini got them both. Now we'll have to see if we can get that one back somehow. There we go. We got it. Awesome. He didn't bring it back like I hoped, but fortunately we were able to reach up there and pull it out ourselves. So that's two for Mr. Houdini. Good job, Mr. Meek. He did a good job. Olive, look what we caught. We caught it, the muskrat. Can I hold it? You want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, put the bubble down. The muskrat. Muskrat. Houdini catch it, the muskrat. No. You want to hold it? It's heavy. Don't put it in the water, please. Keep it out of the water. Please. Hold it. Hold it. You want me to hold it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go catch oh, some more. Yeah. Maybe the place that was empty has some. How's it going? Are you with the canal? Yep. Yeah, we get care take care of the pests. Hi. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I really appreciate you doing that because yeah, they are. Yeah, so what happens is once we get the muskrats out, the, any kind of water, even when it's not flowing, it, they collapse really quite quickly. Yeah, and so if we get them out, then it, then it makes it harder for them to move back in. And then, which you guys don't have so much on this canal, but other canals, they'll have beavers. So you can imagine a hole big enough that dog can crawl down it. They, so they burrow these big old, big old holes in there and then we'll get the beaver and then a raccoon will move in. <laughs> and they'll, they'll basically maintain it so that it doesn't collapse because they don't dig a big burrow. Raccoons, they'll just scratch a little here, scratch a little there. But when they've already got a pre-made burrow, they'll move into it and then they'll keep it from collapsing. And so the beavers will kill some, get them out of there and then like, you know, a few months, a few weeks later, it's all ready for them and they just move right back in because the coons kept it updated. So we have to just get them both, the coons, the muskrats, the beavers, and that kind of tries to slow down the cycle. You can never totally stop it, but at least get it under control. Well, that is interesting because that big muskrat hole I've been watching has some beavers in it. Yeah. Because they have muskrat. Got it. I got like a claw in the mud too. We'll get a cage and uh, 
Okay. I'll watch. You want to hand me the net? No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Where'd he go? He might have gone back in. I think he did. Don't come get mine. Hmm. There he is. He's here. The muskrat. Good night. Now it's your turn. Go flush something out. Miss your knee. I'm gonna stand back. Did he go up in that hole or did you see? I I didn't see. It's on film though, so. He might have gone back, but I, I couldn't tell. Yeah, good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. Oh, Bring it here. He's so good big. dog. Daddy, good dog. Oh, that's such a good dog. Good girl. So big. Look at that, Olive. Uh -oh. Shouldn't he catch it? Daddy, dog. daddy. What? He's dead. He's just kicking. He's dead. See? When they die, they twitch. Good job, Mr. Midnight. Good job, Mr. Midnight. Finally got it. Olive, can you go grab Daddy the the blue, purple? purple? Yeah, hurry quickly. Grab Daddy the purple. Good job, Midnight. Come on out. Good boy. Good job, Midnight. Hurry, Olive, with the purple. Thank you, sweetheart. Come on, Come on. Good job, Midnight. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, we got it the muskrat. Look, Mr. Midnight got it. Good job, Midnight. In here, come on. Come on, Midnight. Hey, long hard chase. You finally did the sealed the deal. There you go. Good job. There you go. There's some yummy muskrat meat, all chopped up and ready for you. Good job, sir. Mr. Midnight got her done. Well, that was a long, hard chase. We were. He, that muskrat was was fooling us all, but finally Mr. Midnight caught it. Good job, Mink. Alrighty, let's call it a day. Yeah. Awesome. She runs along the canal and pulls the Dang. Good job. Dang. Was this all from right here? Yeah. All from today. All today, from but, today. Today, but and the same canal, but for really? miles of canal. Yeah. That's crazy. One time, I remember a, a muskrat, it fell down my window well. Oh no. It terrified me. Yeah. I thought it was like a snake, but because I'd just seen its tail and so, but it sounded so big. Do you help with this? Mm -hmm. It's so impressive, Olive. Here's my pony. I love your pony. I'm gonna make it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Cool. 
Well, neat. Yeah, if you guys are ever working on Canal Road again, you can feel free to park in a driveway. Okay, we will. The road's not super wide. No, so. it's not. Okay, Rio, come on. I want to go home. You want to go home? I yep. bet your dad's going to take you home now. We're all done. We're ready to go home. Okay, Rio, come on. Well, thank you. You're welcome. See ya. All righty, so we had a pretty good day today. We got a total of six muskrats. Pretty good day. The dog got to catch one, I caught one, and the meat caught a bunch. So, super happy we were able to recover all the muskrats, even the ones killed underground. And man, what a what a fun day. Happy to have little Olive along. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and my good buddy Justin, he's been the one filming up for us today. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time. Man, having Shirney along is so helpful, you know. You guys see the helpfulness of her finding a muskrat or her catching a muskrat, but even just being able to read her body language. Like when uh, Midnight had that muskrat underground, I never would have known. I couldn't hear anything. I obviously couldn't see anything, but Shirni with her big old ears could hear the sounds of the muskrat and mink struggle underneath the ground, through the water, through the ground. That sound was echoing out to her ears very clearly. And I could see her body language change. Oh, hey, something's going on, something's going on. And I'm like, what's going on? I don't see anything. But something's going on, something's going on. I put my head down there, still don't hear anything. I dig a little bit, listen. She's still saying, something's going on, something's going on. And finally, I could hear the echoes coming out of the mink and the muskrat struggling, just kind of the, the gasps. They kind of breathe funny when they're, when they're dispatching a muskrat. They like... <laughs> They breathe like this weird little gaspy breath when they're when they're dispatching a muskrat. So I'm like, oh, I hear it. You're right, Shirni. The mink's got a muskrat. And I never would have known if it wasn't for her and like tilting her head and giving me that body language. So man, she's becoming so useful, even even aside from catching and, and uh, finding muskrats, just her ability to tell me what's going on underground is is priceless.